Hello, and welcome to the dashboard tutorial video. The dashboard is the home for all your KPIs and place where you can share your insights with your colleagues and clients. All over you can imagine the dashboard as an interactive PowerPoint. PowerPoint in the sense that it can adapt to any visual appearance. Interactive in a sense, you can see it as a template that you ask a question and it returns the answer right away without needing to go to the analyzer. If you wish to change the layout or the styling of a chart that you have saved here, start by enabling the edit mode of your dashboard. In this mode you can place and size every chart completely freely on your dashboard and also use the dashboard designer on the right hand side to change colors, titles, labels, and the general appearance of all charts and items on your dashboard. Using the dashboard toolbar at the top, you can add new style elements, such as charts, texts, images, and icons, at any time. If you wish to manipulate the entire look and feel of the dashboard with a few clicks, the global style options will be handy. Once you are finished editing the look and feel, you can click Done to see the updated dashboard. In the toolbar, you will find also the Add Filter function. Dashboard filters are a great way to add interactivity to your dashboard and allow the people that you share your dashboard with to answer their specific questions on their own with just a few clicks. There are multiple ways on how to view filters on your dashboard. You may use the global filter panel on the right hand side. Here you can add any kind of value that is represented in your data source to filter your dashboard by such as time, country, channel, department, product, client and so on. Are you sitting in a meeting and getting a question how the last year was? Just click a button, and you will get the results. These filters may be also be placed directly onto the dashboard to achieve a more integrated look. or they can be activated through the charts on your dashboard. Once this interactive function is enabled, just click on a chart, and it will add a temporary filter, that will filter the entire dashboard by this particular parameter. You may be also raise the level of interactivity on your dashboard by adding functions, to further dive into your data. This can be done by using drill downs or drill throughs, by adding additional views to your charts, by adding links to other tabs, dashboard, or websites with more information, or using the zoom function, to zoom into time scales. Once your dashboard is done, you can share it with your colleagues and clients. Just click share, select the user type and user rights, and spread the insights across your company.